What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we are going to be talking about a notebook. Um, I have had this notebook in my possession for a very long time now, but I'm finally getting around to this review because I'm finally getting around to actually using the notebook. <laughs> um, so let me try and raise up the camera here. So this is an A5 size notebook. It comes from Midori, <laughs> uh, designed for comfortable writing, MD notebook, A5. I purchased the lined version. Uh, MD paper is an original paper that prevents smearing and bleed through and enables comfortable writing. On the back, uh, it's plain. It's got some ink spills on it. Uh, and then, come on, focus, focus. The scratch of a pen or a pencil against the rough textured pages makes writing a pleasure. I was very curious to see what they meant by rough textured. Crafted using traditional Japanese thread binding, this durable notebook opens out flat for easy writing. Uh, the two ruled pages have a bold center line, each page divided in two, or make a two page spread with four sections. So it's very unique uh, style. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, um, but I've definitely spent some good time with it. And it's 176 sheets or pages rather and it comes with some stickers that you can put on the notebook now this that you're looking at is just some like onion skin paper that covers the whole thing that you can take off i left it on so that you can see um, and so far when I've been using it, it's been fine with it on, but the actual notebook is completely blank. Uh, it does have MD paper made in Japan stamped on it. Um, and then you can kind of see like a textured binding. It does have a bookmark, uh, although to be fair, I, I don't really use it. And that's about it. It's not a super crazy looking notebook, which I really like. The pages do lie flat, so huge, huge, huge bonus points for me. Uh, it lies flat no matter where you have the notebook, which is dope. Uh, the line width, uh, I'm gonna guess is about seven centimeters. Um, do I have a ruler? Um, So apparently I don't have a ruler, but it is relatively small line. Uh, so I prefer to use a fine nib, uh, some mediums in this notebook, but broad can get challenging. And definitely has a thick, thick uh, line in between, which I originally hated, but I've since curmed, I've since curmed to like it. <laughs> I've since come to like it. Um, because then if I just want to do a short journal entry, it does feel like a more natural place to stop. Um, and sometimes I feel more pressure to like fill a page. Uh, so sometimes I'll actually start a journal entry under here, which is nice. Uh, I've been using this for my journal now for uh, a couple weeks. So I'm very familiar with the notebook. Uh, the very first page, you can just kind of fill in. If you want, you can use some of these stickers, but you can fill in your own information. And then the ink torture test. So it handles everything pretty darn well. Uh, there's ever so slight, ever so slight feathering on like the very first um, wet line here on the P a little bit with the Visconti, but like even with the blue ink on a Retro 51, which feathers on Tomoe freaking Rimmer, Rimmer? River paper. Uh, it doesn't really do that. It handles shimmery goodness, no problem. Uh, the only thing I will say is it is slightly absorbent. So it does uh, diminish a little bit of the sheen shimmer um, shading of any of your I don't really remember what happened here, <laughs> of any of your inks. Uh, and it doesn't even feather on Bay State Blue, which is incredible. And then 
I had some fun with Noodler's Triple Tail and it handled that like a champ. Um, so the very first thing I wrote was that I prefer Tomoe Rivero Cosmo Air Light, but I've certainly used worse. Uh, and I would say that that still relatively holds, although my, my opinion has become a little bit more favorable um, as I've, I've used it. Uh, it certainly, I'm trying not to show you the next page because I started my journal, which I shouldn't have <laughs> on that page. I should have just skipped it. Um, you can see some show through for sure, um, but really no bleeding. I mean, the Sharpie bleeds on everything. Uh, and even when I put in like, you know, base date blues and, and all of those like swatches, there's no bleed through whatsoever, even on the triple tail, which I mean, that thing took forever to dry. It was so much ink, no bleed through. So it, it's, it's really great. Um, I would say that it is, I have this that I keep in the notebook because one of the things I'm using right now is uh, Noodler's Golden Brown and that ink does not like to dry very much. Uh, let's get to the center of the notebook here and find where the page mark is. There we go. So it does have, I can't pick it up, a green, very small uh, bookmark, which is nice. Um, but like I said, I actually prefer now that there is that center line. Um, this paper sort of reminds me of something that is slightly better than Lloydstrom, but not as good as like obviously Tomoe River, Cosmo Air, uh, even Rhodia, I would say. The texture of the paper um, is similar to Lloydstrom. I would say it's pretty darn close to Lloydstrom. Um, and on a like extra fine nib, yeah, you definitely feel a little bit, um, sort of feels like you're using like a number two pencil uh, on like regular school paper kind of thing. Um, so you do definitely feel that texture, uh, which I know some people love. So when it's talking about how like it makes writing a pleasure, yeah, it, it, it does. Like there's only been one pen so far that didn't feel great on it. Um, but to be fair, it's a super, super fine nib. Uh, and that pen on other paper sometimes doesn't always feel great. Um, the binding, Yes, thus far is holding up great. Certainly lies flat no matter where you are. Um, and then that bold center line, I really didn't like it at first, but the more I'm using the notebook, the more I'm liking it. Um, I still don't think it will ever be one of my favorites, but at the end of the day, it comes down to would I purchase it again? And the answer is yes. It wouldn't be, I don't think, something I would use for my daily journal. Um, again, mostly because I have a couple Tomoe River notebooks <laughs> that I, um, you know, still have waiting for me to use. So I'm going to go back to those. Um, but I'm thinking of getting an A6 size because I'm using one of those journals um, to do all of my like gym related stuff, my fitness related stuff. And currently I'm testing out a Dingbats notebook, uh, A6 size. So eventually, um, when I'm super familiar with this, there will be a review coming of this as well. Um, but I'm likely gonna get a Midori notebook in the A6 size um, for the next one when I'm when I filled up that. So would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Uh, who do I think it's for? Anyone. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be fountain pen users, but you certainly can. Um, so I think it's good. I don't remember the price, so I will have that at some point uh, on the screen somewhere. I picked this up from Wonder Pens so long ago now. It was in 2021, I think, at some point that I purchased it. So I don't remember. Um, but like I said, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, but I'm really, I'm really pleased with it and I do recommend it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button if you like this video. Hit the subscribe if you want to see every Monday and Friday videos and you don't want to miss out. Uh, if you really don't want to miss out, you can hit the bell. Um, and if you're one of those that are willing to, willing to hit the bell, then definitely check out the link in the description uh, to check out my Patreon account uh, if you want to help support me and what I do here. So as always, I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.
All right, everybody, it's time again to thank the Patreon crew. I'm filming this as of September 12th, 2022. So if you don't see your name here, I do update these regularly. We have two ultimate humans, Mr. Daniel Roddy and Comp Dave. And for my VIP tier, we have Susan, McCall Bennett Lawrence, Karen Epstein, Gretchen Peters, Carol Lowry, Michael Simon, Subiwan Kenobi, Catherine Molina, Weile Chang, Brian Law, Bill Pemberton, Lucas Bell, Robert Myers, Marissa Calvo, Eric Lineman, Jessica Chow, DigitalTent.Tech, Brian Hunter, Bobby A. Bailey, Bass, Joan Worthman, Luna Wolf Games, Aaron C., and Glenn Kelly. Thank you, everyone who supports me, whether you're in the shout out tier or not. You all help make this dream possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and once again, I'll see you next time. Bye.